and this is the Yahoo Finance Live. Here are three things you need to know this morning. The UAW strike against the big three automakers enters its fourth day. Talks continued over the weekend, but a deal is still elusive. On Friday, 9% of its nearly 150,000 members downed tools as a strategic strike began. The union's president, John Fain, rejected Stellantis' offer of a 21% pay bump over the weekend. Now, the union head told CBS's face the nation, quote, if we don't get better offers, then we're going to have to amp this thing up even more. And it's that time again. House Republicans have released a bill intended to avoid a government shutdown on October 1st. The deal being tabled is very much viewed as an opening gambit and includes an 8% temporary spending cut for domestic agencies. It will likely be rejected by the Democratic-led Senate, and the bill includes border provisions, which likely make the plan dead on arrival. A vote on the bill is planned for this week. And don't ignore the Fed. The September meeting has largely been brushed off as a surefire hold. But the expectations around the ECB were similar, and that central bank surprised investors last week. Fed speakers have had something of a more cautious tone recently. But with oil still causing a headache, any commentary around higher prices is going to be closely watched. The Bank of England, meanwhile, preparing for what could be the last hike of its cycle.